Keep side to serve. Left ball. Left one. So welcome back. This is the match of Akubo from Japan playing Wanwisa from Thailand. This is a positions match for the girls cadet singles. And Wanwisa are off there to a flying start. So Wanwisa here, a bit of an unknown quantity. She was seeded 14, um, but went on to beat the second seed, Dia Parag Chital from India earlier this week. One three. So the young girl from Thailand has done really well given her ranking. Opponent Akubu Hikari, uh, who is from Japan, is aged just 13, so one of the youngest players in the in the competition. Five one. Akubu is nonetheless seeded number nine, and so the clear favourite for this game. So Akubo currently leading 6-2 to two against Wanwisa from Thailand. Oh, and that's unfortunate. Wanwisa there going for the smash hit to finish off the rally. Unfortunately, just straight into the net. Three. So that was a good placement there from Monwisa. She had a Kubo in the left hand corner and then changing it up and playing down the line. That's what she needs to do more of. Seven, so four. Kubo mainly defensive with lots of backspin, but then she can obviously change it up and go for that uh, top spin smash when she wants. Paid off well. Monwisa wasn't quite quick enough to block that smash right over the table from Akubo. Four line. Akubo pushing into the lead now with 9 4. So one we saw there doing very well to change up the tempo of that switch from a backhand spin, which is what Akubo is using mainly against her, to a top spin, which is forcing Akubo to change up her game. Akubo Seven, going there for a slightly nine. different grip on her serve, so she's using a choppy grip there, um, which is different from her usual uh, backhand slice. Wanwisa doing Nine. very well to catch up here. Remember, she is seeded well below Akubo, and therefore Akubo is very much the favourite to win in this game. Three, two, 
Nine so Wang Wiese are doing very well there, playing in a similar style as we saw Chen Yi from China play previously, combining short drop shot, trying to set up for a smash shot in the next. Great composure there from both players, a long rally, and at a late stage in this first game. It's 10-9 to Akubo. Both late players are looking on good form. Oh, and she'll be across with that. Akubo going for the killer shot there. Unfortunately, just going in the net, it's now 10 all. a great First finish from Akubi there, just to stretch a little too far from Wanwisa. Nevertheless, a really impressive first performance from Wanwisa. As previously mentioned, she is a bit of an unknown quantity. Having a world ranking of 390 compared to a world rank of 73 for Japan, in theory this should be a bit of a walkover for Japan, but Wanwisa Perhaps age 14, with a one-year extra experience, is giving it a really good go. In this positions match, the winner will need to achieve best of five in order to go through into a, a quarter-final. So you can see here when we started demonstrating a, a great variety of shots, mixing it up with drop shots and smashes. And she can play backspin when Kubo is playing backspin. But it's the consistency of a Kubo that is really putting her ahead at the moment. That's really great placement there from Wanwisa, really pushing Akubo into that far bottom right-hand corner onto her backhand. So first point of the second game goes to Wanwisa. So Akubo just keeping the ball in the game and waiting for Wanwisa to make a mistake. will be crossed with that. She's been dictating the, the pace of the rally very well up until that point. And that's an impressive change of pace from Akubo there. Her usually defensive shot changing for a very formidable forehand smash. Four, four. Akubo now in the lead with 4-2. So it was one week this time, mixing up her serving style. She knows that she needs to change her strategy slightly because Akubo is getting everything back. Six, three. Four, 
four, six. There's quite a change of pace again from Akubo there. She's decided that more attacking strategy is necessary and she's going for more of those top spin powerful shots. Four, seven. Seven, four, Akubo now moving into the lead. Seven, five. So Akubia there just taking a moment to use the towel. She's currently in the lead at seven, five. Eight, and that five. serve is proving troublesome for one Wiesa. The spin is obviously unpredictable and it meant her return shot off the end of the table. Almost Five, twice nine. in a row, when Wiesa's return there landing very deep. Five, ten. So, keeping the ball in the game, that seems to be a Kubo strategy. And it's paying off, sadly, when Wiesa is playing well but making mistakes. Eleven five, and there's the final point she needed. So, Akubo, the favourite for this match, takes the second game eleven five. It should come as no surprise, really, that Akubo is performing well. She has been busy on the J uh, on the Junior World Circuit earlier this year, making it to the quarterfinals in both Slovakia and Belgium. She has, in fact, six Opens under her belt this year, so she has plenty of experience. On the other hand, Juan Wiesa performing in Jordan, but not making it as far. So Akubo there demonstrating a variety of shots when she wants, definitely pref Five. preferring to go with the defensive play, lots of backspin. Also stronger on her serve there with that tomahawk shot, the, the chopper grip. With two games under her belt, she's going to be feeling confident. And Monwiza has a way to go to try and catch up with her. Kubu now leads this third game at two points to love. Two, one. And it looks like a ball has flown on court from the game elsewhere, so pausing to reset. Two, oh. Wiesa did hugely well to take where that game went. Unfortunately, her final shot just pushing long, but that was a, a clear demonstration of the range of shots she's performing, pulling it short and then firing it long. Four, two. Akubo, though, does have that finishing smash which she can pull out every now and again, which is catching Wiesa off her guard. Let four feet. Four oh. 
And that was a magnificent return from Wanwisa there. Really rapid. Akubo wasn't quite ready for that speed. Four, five. So in this third game, Wanwisa not going down without a fight. It's 5-4 to Akubo currently. Six, four. And Akubo did well there to push Wanwisa into that bottom right-hand corner. Time out. Wanwisa trying to use a forehand topspin, but in the end it was too close to her body. If Akubo wins this match, she will have three, and she will have won... If, sorry, if she wins this game, she'll have three games and will have won the match. And that will secure her a place in the quarter-final. So this is a crucial match for Wanwisa. She needs to change her strategy or exploit a weakness in Akubo's game. Otherwise, Ku Akubo is going to be prevailing shortly. And that's very well played by Akubo. She started that off, that rally off at a different pace with a faster, longer serve, which was unusual. One Wiesa never, nevertheless doing well to keep them all in. But in the end, Akubo's technique was too much. That's very well defended there by Akubo. So Akubo definitely growing in confidence now to, towards the end of this game. She's leading 9-5. Nine, 9-6. Nine, but if one Wita can pull more shots like that out of the bag, there's no reason she can't catch up. 6-10. Akubo now 10-6. She only needs one point more to win this match. You left on 6 and that's a frustrating end there for one Wiesa. But she has done incredibly well to get this far. Akubo, the clear favourite in the la in this last game, in this last game, seeded number nine. One Wiesa seeded number fourteen. She should be very pleased with her performance, nonetheless.